I will tell you my story. Our story. What is the reason, you ask? The story needs to be told. And if there is no one left to tell it, its meaning will be lost. Why now, you ask, when all lies shattered around us? Yes, you are right. But we are at the end of times. And when something ends, something else begins. So my story might yet live on in this world. They gave me different names. They called me the hero. The one who sacrificed everything to save the people and the land. They called me the destroyer. Who betrayed the trust of all races and brought the end of times. I am both. And I am neither. I want you to hear me. See through my eyes. Understand the reasons for the things I have done. And before I pass from this world, I need to be judged. I need you to judge me. That was a long intro, but I thought I would film that as well because hey, that's the part of the game. Now, as for the setting, I just wanted to reduce this a bit more. Okay, let's keep on the default. I saw a lot of people playing this and they had strange, or it appears strange, at least to me. Strange settings. So I'll do a full let's play of this game and of course I'll play on hard. Story. Enjoy the story. Easy. Enjoy the story, but upgrade your party. <laughs> Challenge, use the slow when slow mechanic. Veteran players, I'm not a veteran player, but I think it will be better for me. Die a lot. Think outside the box. Okay, let's play on hard. And let's start the game with more cutscenes and story. Our land is dying. And we are dying with it. This was not always the case. Artara was once a place of wonder and beauty. The five races thrived in peace and harmony. Then, long ago, something happened. A cataclysm of unimaginable proportions. Something so disastrous, we don't even have a name for it. For when it destroyed our civilization, it took with it all knowledge of history. The past is now lost to us. Our future is uncertain. We are left trapped in a bleak and dismal present. The land itself is our enemy now. The weather extreme and unpredictable. Droughts persist for several weeks, followed by floods that wash everything away. Yet, our gravest problem is the lack of sunlight. Storm clouds shroud our world in everlasting twilight. Without the sun, we are unable to grow food, and so we struggle to survive this dark world, a seemingly hopeless battle. I look back now to when I was a young boy, living on the fringe of the human domain. While hunting for food, I stumbled upon ruins uncovered by a recent earthquake. A bad omen, normally avoided. But this time, something drew me in. Was it gold? I like gold. Okay. Oh, that's, without the send of a single rabbit, really? Okay. So hunting is going very badly, and you need something to kill and take back to the village. The forest lies sand, a little to jag jagged rocks and vast chasms. Okay. The work is already three days. Yeah. 
<laughs> you are a brave boy, you. <laughs> old stuff. All the, this place to the old times. Don't touch it. Don't press any buttons. Don't take any crystals. Now the game looks very well. I like it. I mean, Gardens of Sorrow, Hebden Car, Ostwick Bridges. But the scenery looks amazing. Small shit right there. I like this, the, this style of games where you first begin as a child or you begin your adventures at something else. First Magus. Ambassador Chun Stable. Okay. The Sanctum Guardians have been alerted, that sounds bad. Resistance is not advised. Okay, so don't resist the statue. Now this is a very very big place as you can see. Well, that's a throne, we have to go there. Have courage. Okay, so you are scared. Sorry, I won't read everything because that will take a long time and most of you probably already read this. But you can pause if you want to read. Okay, those are scary looking creatures. But I like the look of the game. This looks magical. This looks amazing. Okay, actually this, this way down. This is terrifying. Look at... Look at how small you are compared to the scenery and... Well, those look like golems. What kind of golems? Well, I hope friendly golems. Hello, I'm lost. He doesn't have the skill to survive this place. Okay, so they just go back and forth, he's not ready, he's ready. Or else the others will manipulate him. Who are the others? Just a hunter. <laughs> Aim with your eyes shut. Okay, <laughs> go on. <laughs> they said go on, don't worry. Now, I like this one. The armor stand. Armor... Of made of pure gold. I like armors, I don't like this statue. 4th and 39th. 1st Magus El Trador. 1st Magus Helena. Okay, that seems to be in shambles, so that's not the place to go. So this is the Tower of all the first Magus of the kingdom. We will see. Now the throne looks very welcoming. You are different. Check out his portrait. Oh, he... So he raised the tower, that's why he, this boy found the ruins, okay? Okay, you can rest. I'll just go hunt a bit. But if I... Okay. <laughs> you will return. Can I at least have a choice? Those didn't look friendly. Okay, let's run away from this place. Wow, that was actually very good. And now, 
Descending the stairs. stairs led me to a crystal throne which glittered with swirling light. I felt strangely compelled to approach and sit. As I took my place upon it, a sudden torrent of light enveloped me. The illumination overwhelmed my senses. I grew nauseous and weak, but before I lost consciousness, the throne ejected me to the floor. I fled and told no one what happened for fear of being deemed tainted and banished from the village, for this was the way of my people. I tried to forget the experience, to convince myself it was my overactive imagination. But the visions that followed said otherwise. Every night, the nightmares came. Their torment highlighted my confusion, as each morning I remembered little, fragmented images, words which made no sense, nothing more. I would have thought myself mad if not for the strange, incomprehensible symbols I often drew in the sand. Proof that forces beyond my understanding were at work. People in my vicinity kept their distance, and I think they feared me. Over time, they learned to tolerate my unusual nature. But I was always alone, left to brood and ponder my strange fate. One winter, it all came flooding back to me. I realized the crystal throne sat not at the bottom of some ancient ruins, but at the top of a construction incomprehensible in scale. That the ruins were not ruins of some lost city or ancient castle, but a single massive tower buried deep within the earth. And buried upside down. Some unexplainable force had lifted the construction into the sky, rotated it, and driven it into the ground. In that moment of clarity, I knew one thing above all others. I had to go back to that place, for the power within was the one thing that could save Artara. Years later, I found myself a commander in the last human kingdom's militia. The king, a just man and good friend, granted me a favor for my years of loyal service. I had but one request, a small force of men and resources to return to the village of my birth and explore the tower. Preoccupied by an eroding empire, the king held little interest in ancient ruins and towers. He did, however, see the reclaiming of a long-abandoned village on the border of an ever-shrinking kingdom as a boost to the people's morale. He gave me what I requested, and his blessing. So, here I am. Returning to the very place which has haunted me my entire life. It is a desolate place now. Time has not been kind to my village. Most of it has rotted or been washed away. Yet the tower remains just as I remember it. I am in awe of the power within. And perhaps fearful. The men and I are setting up the camp in the village, while Cain and Maev, two of my most capable warriors, will scout the tower. Once again, I feel its call. We must uncover its secrets. We must find a way to reach the power within. If we fail, it will be the end of us. So we better not fail then. And now we'll actually have some grown-ups that can do fighting. So here's the commander, uh, your character, you. 
such green healthy looking plants uh, yeah they don't look edible okay abundant life new crops no but it would be good if we can get the crops out of oh. hello little buddy are you okay profit <laughs> you survived this place as a child, okay. Yeah, go and command us. We don't need you right here. Okay, I'll, you can. I'll call you later. Sure, sure. <laughs> So we left the building <laughs> or the tower to be more precise. Over five here when you join. Formidable fiber, okay, yeah, yeah, good. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you. Smooth glass like stone. Rat choke. Rat choke, okay. Shell guard, okay. Also, let's check the, the place. Oh! Okay, that's useful. Is that our only way out? Yeah, that's it. But, but as you can see, we'll fight some nasty creatures down there. So I'll just play the first fight and then I end the video and continue in the next episode. We also got some gold. So it will be one of those games where loot is hidden in the map. Okay, I like those. Nice, a little waterfall. I don't think those are edible, but we can try. I'm already liking the story, I mean, this is something they really need. <laughs> oh, we drank the water? Okay. Well, they do look nice, the fruits. Kind of a strange color, but they look like big mango fruits. And there is a dead body here. Okay, the rest for five times over I know. No way out. Oh, plum trees. That's kind of sad. Let's take some gold to increase our uh, happiness. Is this a huge frog? Wow! Now we'll we'll see our first combat. Now combat in these games work in this game works a, a little different that you might expect so first of all you have resources this, uh, these are your resources gold and some gems and you don't you won't fight them in this map you actually enter a separate map as you can see these are the ones you'll fight this is their damage armor is well little to none health is pretty good details A hunter, okay, only in large numbers, it is an adept, well, that's their tier. Broken stuff, okay. Okay, he's fast, probably our threat for our Mastercraft armor. 
Now you can change your party or fight as your or who will draw. Okay, but we'll fight. Now. Yeah, I already read all those things. Don't worry about it. Well, he can go a little. I won't use any skills right now because the first enemies are pretty easy to kill. That's the reason warrior and I will have more reason warriors. Okay, since there are more of them, let's use this skill. Wow, that was very good. You can attack again, don't worry. Okay, you heal up and we'll handle these skeletons right now. And now they start to be range, guys. Okay. You dash forward. Again. You have to go a little closer and enemies can come from all the all directions. So you might want to go now this is the problem I am having with the game. Okay, let's kill that adept first. Knight in mana, we don't have enough mana to use the skill right now. Maybe I should have waited. The first time I did this battle I finished it, finished it fairly easy, but that seems to be a problem for me. Guess I should have saved the mana for this fight. Okay. I have enough first. Now let me see how much does that heal. Yeah, I need to use it right now. Those adepts are not too hard to kill anyway. But remember, this is like a tutorial fight, and as you can see on the hard difficulty, it's really hard. Fight completed 100% and the loot is randomized by the way. The first time I played this I got a bow. And what is this called? Well, a crystal, okay, it's called a crystal then. Fungus and tough stringy roots, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Oh, yeah, skeletons. Okay, some chit chat in there. Now let's check out our inventory. Okay, I read this again. So this has DPS, attacks per second, total damage, main damage, armor, penetration, critical chance and attributes. Now let's see what she has. She has a hand crossbow which does a lot less DPS than this one. But it has more armor penetration and less damage and also it fires a little slower. So let's give her the bow because I have a feeling the bow will be better. And this item stays there but it's unequipped so... And this is one handed. So nice. And they also have the alignment which will help them with their stats. As you can see attack speed and armor is better this way. And also the skill tree is exactly what you would expect from this one except it's a lot more complicated. The inventory is right there and also, well, this is kind of a good way to do it. As you can see, you can reset your attributes and speed master, but let's explore the map a bit. Okay, let's save the first time. And let's explore this little area. The bones are clean. I don't think that the alt skill highlights the things you can loot, so it's basically nothing. Oh, healthy steel gauntlets, nice. Some old skeletons around here. Let's equip those gauntlets. 
Now, as you can see, the ones you are wearing are pretty good because you don't start as zero. You can also craft, and you, you'll find a lot more things here. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Okay, so I'll just end the episode right here. Again, this is one of the most under underappreciated games ever made. I mean, even people on the forum say this. This game is so... This game is probably one of the best RPGs ever made, but I don't know why it's not more successful. Maybe it was marketing, maybe it was because... Well, I don't know, but I'll play it right until the end and on this hard difficulty. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.